Hey, hello and welcome to today's GFG problem of the day. Hope you are doing well. So let's see today's problem, the palindrome pattern. Uh, it's a difficult, uh, It's a, the difficulty basically is hard, but it does not seem so. It is an easy category problem. So let's see what the problem is saying. So what the problem is saying is we'll be given an N into N uh, matrix, okay, or an array, okay, the two-dimensional array. And what we want to do is we want to find out whether any row, whether any row or column is a palindrome. For example, for example, right? So we have to check. So for example, this particular row, it's a palindrome. Why? Because the start and end, right? It, it's the order is same basically. So if you start from here, the, 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 the property of the palindrome, right? It, it comes 0, 1, 0. If you start from end, it comes 0, 1, 0 still, right? In the reverse order. Okay. That's what we want to do. If we find such row or column, right? So we want to return. We want to return the output in this way. For example, this first row, right? This basically the second row, it's a zero based indexing. So we want to return one and we want to return the indicator, whether it, it, it's a row or it's a column. Okay. So we have to go in the order. First, we want to find out whether there is any row. If there's no such row, then we have to go column wise. So in this example, right? So here, the, there are no rows. There are no rows which has palindrome, right? There's a column, one, one. So we want to return the zeroth column and the indicator C. Okay. So that's what we have to do here. So what we're going to do now? Now, how are we going to solve this problem? Okay. The time complexity is O of n square, right? Okay, and the space complexity is O of 1. Okay, so what we're going to do is simply we'll iterate through the rows first, right? And if we find, we're going to find out the palindrome, if there is any palindrome. If no, then we'll iterate the columns. Okay, so here what we're going to do is simple. For example, if we take this row, right? So we'll, we'll take a pointer L and R, right? And we'll check L and R, right? Okay, if this is same, if it is same, then yes, the, it still, as of yet, it matches the palindrome property. Then we are going to increment L and decrement R, okay, L and R. And then we are going to check again if it follow, if the characters are same, if the digits are same. If yes, then again, we'll increment and decrement R. So this will be the intuition behind solving the problem. Before going to the code and request you to subscribe to my channel, uh, the thing is that a lot of effort goes, right, in solving the problem and creating the video. It, hence, it will be motivating for me if you subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. So let's quickly code, right? So let's take N, right, R of, length it is going to be. So first I'm going to show the Java code followed by C++. Okay. Then what we're going to do is, okay, now uh, we'll iterate, right? Int row. First we're going to iterate the rows, right? Row less than, sorry, row equal to zero, row less than n plus plus row. Okay. Then what we're going to check if check, right? We'll write a function check for palindrome row. Okay. Then what we're going to pass R. Okay. R. Then we're going to pass the row number definitely and the total size, right? Let's now implement this uh, function check for pal row, right? In row in n okay now simply what we're going to do we are going to uh, take l equal to zero okay as i mentioned right r equal to n minus one right and we are going to have this l less than r while loop okay now what we're going to do we are going to check if if r of row l equal to equal to r of row r if it is same then simply if it is let's say if it is not same right if it is not same simply return false right otherwise increment l and decrement r okay this we are done finally if the while loop is broken so that means we have found a palindrome and it will return true okay and simply what we are going to do, if we have found the row, simply what we are going to do, we are going to send, right? We are going to return row, row number, right? Row, whatever is the row number followed by space and R. Okay. That is, we have found a row. Okay. If no, we have to check for the columns, right? We have to check for the column. So call, right? Let's have this call. Also, 
Okay. So here, Paul and this one to be C here. So let me get, let me copy this. Okay. Let's call it call. Let call. So here, what we are going to do? So now we want to check for column, right? So what we are going to do? Column, okay, column, and this. This is going to be L and this is going to be R, right? This is going to be R, right? So how, for example, right? If this is the if this is the column zero one zero, right? This is a column. So our L will be here as a row pointer and R will be here, right? As okay. So here it is going to be like that. Simply will decrementing. It is going to be the same here, okay? So if we have if you have found a column, then we have to return the column. Otherwise, if we don't have anything, right? If there's no palindrome, simply you have to return minus one. So this is a code. Let me compile it. Okay. Let me run it. Seems that test cases have been passed. I have request you to, I, I hope you've got the solution. I request you to subscribe to my channel, like the video. Okay, let me quickly show the C++ code as well. It's like almost same, right? Only the change will be vector of vector, right? So here we take n by arrow dot size and rest everything is same. Only the difference is two string we are doing here uh, for the row. Okay, I'll also attach the code uh, in the description. Okay, both C++ and Java. Okay, so yeah, so this is a code. I hope you have got, again, I'll request you to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Have a happy, healthy and a great day. Thank you.